Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Forza Horizon 4 Let's Play on the Flat Out Media channel. Today we're in our E-Type S1 in another barn find area, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to hop straight into drone mode and try to find this barn. I did a little bit of a cruise around here at first just to see if it was easily in sight of the road, and well, it wasn't. Is that the barn, like literally right here? No, good. I thought that that gravel was the barn for some reason. But yeah, so I'm hoping to find the barn relatively quickly. Hopefully. Aha! Here's the barn. I found the barn, guys. Don't worry, I found it. It's way over here. I literally circled the whole area to find it, and it was just like right over here. That's actually a pretty sneaky place to put it, I'll give them that. Yeah, the barn, like you can't see it at all, but here it is. If you found it, I'll be there in a tick. Yeah? Yes! Don't you dare open it without me. Awesome. Looks pretty cool. When you look at that, it's a Spitfire. Not the plane, obviously. It, it might not look it now, but this car is a masterpiece of British design. Makes you proud. Cool. I'll get someone else to take this back. All this talk of Britain is giving me wanderlust. Alright guys, so now that we found that, let's go ahead and we're going to head right up here to this event. I don't think I'm really going to even bother cutting. Let's just drive over there together through the old train yard. Nice restored Jaguar, through a couple of fences. Let's just kind of hop the tracks quickly. Alright, and here we are. So guys, let's go ahead and enter the event. Alright guys, so here we are. We are in our Lancia S4. This is the first time I've ever driven it. Up against what looks to be a couple Subarus, a couple other Lancias. I think there's, yeah, that's a Ford Cosworth up there. Up the inside of that legacy. And oh yeah, here we go. Nice and rainy too. Up and around here. Minimal problems. We just gotta chase down the top two now. We're already into third, so shouldn't have too many problems. I say as we pretty much stop up there, and we're just going to get freight drained. Or not. We're actually able to hold it here. We'll into the fence a little bit there. But we can get back around the outside of that Lancia. Stradali. And we're able to hold third place. Oh yeah, beautiful slide around that corner. Not exactly the quickest way to get around, but it was a way. Heavy braking for this corner. I 
And it seems like we're actually catching on the top too. But we're bringing the rest of the pack with us at the moment. As we go ahead and we enter lap two. Hard breaking in here, the Cosworth is going for an overtake on the fellow S4. Not able to get it done though through the inside. That opens up a massive amount of space that I'm going to take, thank you very much. And we're up into second place. Alright. Really pushing the car here. Trying to get as much done as possible. Down and around and through this corner, through this corner. Tapped the wall there a little bit. That means that we've lost a massive amount of time, and there goes the Stradali. Here comes the Cosworth now. Falls back in the line, didn't want to make, try to make the move there, don't blame it. Well, as we aren't breaking in time, we tap the Stradali, which helps get the stop. And Stradali is now way off course. It's super slow. Sorry about that, Stradali. Didn't mean to. Oh, wall tap there. Or drift tap, however you want to look at it. Now on to lap three. Come back here, Luigi. Oh shoot. Oh. Yeah, missed that checkpoint. Puts us all the way back into 12th place, and there goes our whole race. <sighs> maybe we'll be able to recover, maybe, but I kind of doubt it. Come down through here, being very brave, pretty much flat out. No lifting, no lifting, no lifting. But the AI are just quicker. We would need, like, at least another two laps to catch up. Which isn't gonna happen. So it looks like we're going to be finishing in last. After something that was my own dumb fault. Alright, here we come. Finish lines right up here. And... Across the line we go, oh well, what can you do about it really? What can you do about it? We still got 24,000 credits off of it, so not terrible. Influence rewards wise, another 6,000 credit, uh, 6,000 influence I mean. And dirt racing round 6, super wheel spin unlocked, thank you very much. And we're only 20,000 influence away from getting into the roster. Hey, don't feel too bad for the drivers who got knocked out last round. When you see this next round of events, you may think they're the lucky ones. Round six is a goal. Right, thank you very much. 
So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to head over here to the Greendale Road Race thingy. I'm going to go ahead and drive down there and I will see you guys in a couple seconds. Alright guys, here we are. We are now rolling up to the race in our McLaren 720, which I have in a lime green. It looks absolutely spectacular. And let's go ahead and enter the event. Alright guys, so here we go. Away we go for the start of the race. As a Porsche just comes flying right past us. A couple Ferraris behind us. Here we come, we're flying up on a Ford GT, we get past it. But then it comes right back up the inside on us. There's a Nissan GTR, which we're going around the outside, inside into this corner. Get the pass done. A oh, little bit of lag there, I'm sorry about that. Up the inside of the Ferrari there. Went a bit wide on the exit. But, oh well. It's so different going from driving the S4 to driving the 720. It's ridiculously different. We are up into 6th place though. Absolutely flying down through here on the brakes super early. Tap the wall a little bit. But we are okay. As we are now gaining on the top five. Lag spike there again. I don't know why the frames are taking such a big hit, but they are. I apologize to you guys. We are up into third place now, just from straight line speed. Get a little bit of air there. Lost control of the car a little bit. Went a little bit wide there again, tapped the wall. Up on this GTR now, up the inside of it. And now we're up against a Reventon, a Lamborghini Reventon. One of the cars that nobody really talks about. Like it's here and it's cool, but nobody really talks about the Reventon. Which I currently can't find a way past. If we go ahead and get a massive run on him down the start finish straight and across the line in first place. Oh yeah, just like that. Let's go ahead and continue. Winner. 18,000 credits, thank you very much. I'm up to 1.7 million influence rewards wise. Oh my god, frames are taking a massive hit at the moment. But we got 5,000 influence there. Which got both a level up to road racing and overall level. So awesome, thank you very much. Modern Supercars T. And then I think we get a free wheel spin for leveling up, we do. So here goes the wheel spin. Come on, something good, something good, something good. Pink biker gloves, 300,000 credits, and a Ford Cortina. You know what, I'll take the 300,000 credits. I don't know if I'll be using the Cortina, and I definitely won't be using the pink biker gloves. But I'll take the other two. Alright 
Alright guys, so now, I think we're gonna finish off the episode here by going over and doing a two wheel spins. So let's go ahead and do them. Come on, credits or a car, credits or a car. 2016 Lotus 311, I'll take it. Thank you very much. And the Mercury Coupe 1949. You know what? I'll take that too. Two cars off of two wheel spins. I will very much take that. So let's go ahead. Let's go to the festival. To collect one of our barn find cars. Let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead and collect the 1983 Sport Quattro. Right, so about those holes. The story on Reddit was that this used to belong to a police detective who was involved in multiple shootouts. I'm like 80% sure that nobody died in this car. So enjoy, I guess. Oh, this car looks so good. Thank you very much. But guys, that's going to have to be it for this one. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, comment if you like. I will see you guys all in the next one. And don't forget to stay flat out.